Good morning, everyone. I am just curling my lashes quick and then I only have like five minutes and I wanna get out of here. So I always just have my go-to routine, grab my compact and get it done super quick. I am Heidi, so thanks for watching Confidently Beautiful with Heidi. If you haven't followed or liked me yet, um, make sure you do that. Um, I try to go live and share different videos and tips and tricks and stuff, so don't miss out on that. So please follow me. I would love to have you. Okay, so if you are watching this in replay, make sure you're hashtagging replay so I know that you caught the video. Let me know, have you tried Saint? That's this all-in-one compact makeup that I'm using is by Saint. So let me know, have you used this yet? Have you seen it? It's kind of become viral. <laughs> I feel like you see it all over the place. I always like to start with a little bit of lip conditioner because um, especially like fall, like everything's just drying up and I like to have that. So this is my go-to brush, the brush and bronzer blush and bronzer brush and I am actually this is like a technique that I feel like is super kind of crazy when I tell people and um seems kind of backwards but I'm actually starting out with my tan lines bronzer and this is even me out right there I'm just doing a very light coat of it and I am putting it all over my face just to even out my redness. Um, I had some really uneven tanning over the summer too. So I just feel like this really helps to give me a nice base. Hi, Megan. How are you? I am actually going to be going out and getting some coffee with a girlfriend this morning. So I'm looking forward to it. We used to work together and now she's in a different building. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing her. Hi. The kids are doing a craft day this morning. <laughs> now I'm going in with my highlight. Um, I always go, I always double in. I'm using um, June and Amber highlight. Um, because I do have redness, I like to always mix in a little bit of June. That seems to help me um, a lot. Yes. Zombie crocodile. Oh, see, my kids love Pokemon. So they're making like costumes, you know, think Halloween time, right? <laughs> We're doing costumes for Pokemon. Busy with kids? Let me know how many kids do you have and what ages? So I am just tapping this in everywhere just to even out my skin and have a nice nice just evened out skin and I could totally just go out like this um, I might need my mirror let me see my husband's sleeping in my room in, in my room in our room right now so I don't have my normal makeup area so I need a makeshift mirror there we go okay go keep playing thank you okay so I'm just putting this all over, pretty light look. And I actually like to grab my, before I go in with my contour, I take um, the detail brush and I just go into that amber highlight and I like to put it on my eyes and get right in this spot right here. The, um, the blush and bronzer brush, I just love the coverage I get with that brush because I don't get too much. It's pretty light coverage, but because it's kind of big for my face, um, especially around my eyes, it's hard to get into this spot. So I like to just grab a little bit of product there and like put it right there. Now, this is a great brush. If you have a brightening shade, that is what I would do instead of what I'm doing with it, just my normal main color. I don't, I rarely wear a brightening shade. I probably should use a brightening shade, but um, that would be great to put on right there, like right how I'm doing it right there. That's what I would do with your brightening shade. Okay, so now I just have a light coverage all over. Then I'm going to flip that detail brush around and grab my contour. And I just put it right there on that edge. And then I find my cheekbones and I just kind of start blending it in 
and press it in there. Let me, I just got to cover up this little bit of my cheeks a little bit more. It's what happens when you use the camera <laughs> to add in on your makeup. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so back to the contour. So I'm going to put it in right there. And I just kind of do that tapping motion just to place it. And then I'll blend it in a little bit, in a little bit. And then right here. I like to kind of do just like a blend and blend as we go sort of technique. And then whatever I have left, I just go around right there and then bringing that downwards so I don't have an embarrassing line there. Okay, now I'm just gonna blend out that contour. I'm gonna fix this one spot right there that I missed. There we go. So I just take that detail brush and I'm just kind of like feathering it up. I sometimes kind of pull it tight, like move my face like that. <laughs> and just kind of make sure I get it nice and blended to how much definition I want. But I just kind of feather it up. I just missed my lower jawline on both sides. That's what happens when I'm not in my natural environment <laughs> for doing my makeup. Okay. And just blend this all out. I got crazy light in there. Okay. Then now that I have lost a lot of my tan from the summer, I like to go in with a little bit of my Bella bronzer, which is right there in the middle. And oops, with my big fluffy end, get some on there. And I don't use too much. I don't want it to look unnatural, but just to give me a little bit of warmth, put a, bit, a little bit on the top of my cheeks, nose, chin, and I just kind of really lightly feather it around, swirling motions like that. Now, if you want a little bit more bronzed look, I would use this thicker end, the more dense end to apply it, okay? Just got my hair. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go in with Nude. Nude is like my go-to color for my cheeks. And I honestly think it's like great on anyone and it's great all year round. In the summertime, I like summer, spring, I like to add a little ruby to nude because it gets a little more pinky. But I think I'm just gonna do it with nude today. It's kind of like a mauve color. It looks so good on everybody. And then, because I just want more of a gloss, I'm gonna go in with La Cienega. That's this one. It's pink and has um, gold, like a little bit of a gold shimmer, but it's just mainly a pink gloss. That's all I need for a coffee date, right? Let's see. Okay, I gotta leave here in a couple minutes. And then I'm just going to, um, with that blush and bronzer brush, I'm gonna go into my perfume number five. It is actually rose gold illuminator and then it's infused with like a beachy color or beachy flavor. And I'm just going to tap that on this higher points of my face here. Did you make a costume? What costume did you make? Pico. I make Harry Potter. Harry Pikachu Pika Potter. and Pika Potter? Yeah, Pika <laughs> That's Potter. very creative. Ooh. Okay, okay, keep going. And then I also like to go right behind my ears with this and kind of just all over my neck. And I just blend it like this because eventually you won't really see that there's shimmer. Or it will just have that really beautiful coconut vanilla smell. So whenever I'm near anyone, they'll be like, ooh, what are you wearing, right? 
Okay, so that is my 3D foundation, highlight, contour. I did use a little bronzer, um, lip and cheek, and illuminator. Isn't that beautiful? I do want to do something quick with my eyes. And this is my go-to <laughs> go -to eyes. I use these four colors here, and I'm going to apply most of them with my finger. So I'm going to go here with hot chocolate on my... I know you're not going to be able to see this. There we go. I had to get it in the right spot. Isn't that a beautiful color? Now you could use just hot chocolate all on its own. It's so pretty. I've been trying to come up with like a, a name for this combination. And I almost want to call it like a rose gold eye look. Because now I'm going to go in with this crush shimmer. And when I kind of mix these two together, when all this gets together, it gives me like a rose gold feel. So maybe that's what I'll just start calling it. It's my rose gold look. Okay. And then I'm just kind of blending them together, but not really. I'm just placing that out, hot chocolate on the outside, crush in the middle. And then I'm going to use this kind of champagne-y um, shimmer called Drift and put it in the center of my eye there. What costume do you have there? It's supposed to be an evil reindeer. Ooh. Super creative. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my eyeshadow brush. The fluffy end here, I have no idea when I used this one last. So I'm gonna use my brush cleaning tile quick, get whatever color I have off there. And then I usually just kind of brush outwards um, just to get a nice blend of the three colors. I don't wanna blend it too much because it's already done its thing just by applying it with my finger. Okay, let me see how it's looking. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna use Philly, and I'm going to use that as an eyeliner. Mama, this is a mummy. Score bunny money, mummy. And then just whatever I've left, a little bit on that outer corner. Like so. And then just flip it over to blend it out. Isn't that an easy but really fun, it's a very natural looking eye. It's not too standout-ish, but it's just beautiful. I love it. I am going to do my mascara, but I will do that after I get off so you don't have to watch me do my mascara. But there we go. Super easy. It's my go-to makeup that I do like every morning. It's all in this compact. Plus I have other colors in here. Um, you can totally do it all with just one brush. I have my favorites though. So if you're interested in getting color match message below, um, just comment below color match, reach out to me and I will send you a, a palette full of suggestions. You can mix and match whatever you want. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.